Welcome to our channel. Welcome to another one of our videos. Today we're going to cover Micron Technologies. And then we'll also cover our positions at the end. So let's get busy. Uh, currently we own 100 shares of Micron Technologies. So far this month in April we achieved $1,617 worth of premiums of profits of that $448 of closed positions. As you can see here, um, all the indices are down over 2% on Friday. Wow, the Dow was almost down 3%. Uh, Micron was down 2.13% on low volume of 18.6 million shares versus the average volume of 23.6 million shares. Market cap is below $78 billion, which I believe this company should be worth over $100 billion. Our PE is at $8.74. Our earnings per share is at around $8, which is excellent, which is a, they're beating the, uh, the average S&P on this PE. The dividends is about a half a percentage. And the next earnings is around between June and July. The analyst forecast is currently at $83 on the low side, all the way up to $165 on the high. And we're currently well below the low. First article we're going to cover is the new product of the Micron GDDR6X increases bandwidth and capacity. They just started shipping these cards. They're available only from Micron. Features twice the capacity and up to 15% higher performance over the previous 8 GBs version. This additional capability means end users can experience razor sharp visuals higher frame rates, and outstanding performance in memory intensive applications like gaming and content creation. They get more technical here if you want to read it further. So this is an excellent graphic card capabilities. Now we're going to discuss uh, Better Buy, Intel versus Micron technology. The key points is Intel is pulling the right strings to turn its fortunes around, whereas Micron technology is enjoying healthy growth thanks to robust memory demand. So they discovered the price ranges on both the stocks here. The case for Intel Intel is a dominant player of the server and client CPU markets, according to Mercury Research. It controlled nearly 84% of the desktop CPU market, 78% of the notebook CPU market, and 89% of the server CPU market at the end of 2021. The Intel's Adder Lake CPUs have been giving AMD a run for its money. And Intel has an aggressive product roadmap that includes the launch of new, more powerful processors later this year, such as Raptor Lake CPUs. It's worth noting that the Intel 7NM process is reportedly denser than AMD's 5NM process, which means chips made from uh, Chipzilla's process are packed with more transistors. So they get a little bit technical here for the technical people. Then they talk about the growth of 2023 and 2024 of this new product. Now the case for Micron. Micron technology has been clocking outstanding revenue and earnings growth on account of the robust demand for memory chips that are used in computers, smartphones, data centers, and even vehicles nowadays. The company has been, been in a fine form in fiscal year 2022 its revenue for the first six months of the fiscal year which ended march 3rd increased 29 percent over the prior year's performance of 15.5 billion adjusted earnings have shot up to four dollars and thirty cents per share during this period from one dollar and seventy six cents per share in the same period last year analysts expect micron to finish fiscal 2022 with 33.7 billion in revenue, an increase of 21.7% over last year, following by a 20% revenue increase fiscal 2023. The company's bottom line is also expected to head higher after the last fiscal year's adjustment earnings of $6.06 .06 per share. And they're talking about the analysts are forecasting 30% annual earnings growth for the next five years. What's more, Micron is looking to take away market share from its rivals in the industry on the back of its product development moves. 
which should allow the company to corner a bigger share of the huge and market opportunity it is sitting on. Micron is a solid is in a solid position to sustain its eye popping growth for the long term for the long time to come. Then they ask which semiconductor specialist is a better buy. Investors looking to buy value stocks right now may be better off choosing Micron technology as it is not just growing at a fast pace, but also trading an attractive evaluation. So that's a key thing right now is the valuation of stocks because of this raising interest rate environments. So that's why Micron beats out Intel. Let's look at the chart. We haven't been down at this level since back here on 10 2021 So I think we're bottoming out here for Micron unless the market goes a lot lower. If the market forces Micron lower, then I could see us going maybe down here at 62 62 levels that we haven't been at since 529. Remember the stop loss is around 61.58. That means if we're going to go into a depression, I don't think we're going to do that. So therefore, I think this is a good price if you wanted to pick up some shares for the future. And remember, it's going to be rocky because of this these higher rate interest rate environments. Okay, our open positions and options, we have a baba uh, for the 17th of June. I got that off of Unusual Activity as well as, as well as STNE for the 20th of January. And then I have some covered calls here in AMD, AFRM, and in Coinbase. These are our close positions, our pluses and minuses. We only had one minus, which puts us at 1987. Here's our current uh, open stock positions. They haven't changed. I appreciate everybody watching our videos today. If you have any stocks or anything that you want some information on, go ahead and place them down below and we'll look them up as well for you. But you got to be careful in the market. And remember, diversify. Until next time, this is Sunny. I'm out.